And we have some new details for you tonight on a puppy recovering from being shot in the jaw. Doctors were able to remove bullet fragments from the wounded Doberman mix yesterday. CBS 4's Ted Scouten has been following Clover's recovery, and he joins us from outside the animal hospital in Hollywood with the latest. You want to come here? A look at Clover post-surgery. She's up and about already. The year-old Doberman mix was in pretty bad shape just a couple of days ago. Hi, baby. I just want to help you. I just want to help you, baby. She was rescued from the Redland Sunday. Her lower jaw was just hanging. She had been shot in the mouth. This is the bullet here that was retrieved yesterday during surgery. Dr. Brianna Danielson at Hollywood Animal Hospital performed surgery on Clover. She was able to recover the bullet and fragments. That bullet did, you know, hit the lower jaw area. It looks like most of the impact was in this region where we had our necrotic bone, and then it probably kind of ricocheted up into the cheek. Dr. Danielson figures that Clover was walking around with that bullet for more than a week. Some of the bone associated with the lower jaw, unfortunately, is what we call necrotic, or what you might say rotten, um, and so that bone cannot be fixed. This is an x-ray of her afterwards. Most of Clover's lower jaw had to be removed. Right now she's sore and swollen, but she's expected to recover well. She'll have to learn how to eat again after such a cruel act cost her part of her jaw. Get her, go get her. The Doberman Rescue League will eventually put Clover up for adoption. They are amazed at how well she's doing. For everything that she's been through, the fact that she can still see a human being and wag her tail and accept a hand to touch her. I mean, dogs are resilient. They're, they're amazing animals. Because of the generosity of our viewers as well as the public, we are told that enough money has been raised already to pay Clover's medical bill. However, if you'd still like to help out, help other animals, you can go to our website, cbsmiami.com. We'll show you where you can donate. In Hollywood, Ted Scouten, CBS4 News.